Oh. Hey guys. Um, I know things have changed. Positions have changed. Things have changed. Cameras changed. Everything's changed. Microphones even changed. Well, microphone hasn't changed, but. Um, I am doing this coffee time with Cobra incredibly late. It is Tuesday, 1 a.m. This was supposed to go out Mon oh, yesterday, and um, I've been busy recording a whole bunch of um, World of Tanks videos and working on my schooling and a whole bunch of other stuff, and um, unfortunately... There's only a little bit of this coffee in here, so I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I want to talk to you guys about something that's been really bugging me. And that is this whole Dr. Disrespect um, thing that's been going on. Now, I've been incredibly vocal about Dr. Disrespect. Um, when he was on Twitch, I was on Twitch at the same time. Um, not going to lie, a big part of me was jealous of the fact that he had so many followers and whatnot. But you can understand, it. it's his shtick, it's his job, it's his thing, it's what he did. I personally um, had my own shtick, and it worked for me, it worked for my little niche. And I had uh, four, almost 5,000, five, yeah, I had about 5,000 followers and about, I think it was like 10 or 15 subscribers. I was doing good for myself, I mean, I, was done, well, I wasn't doing too bad, you know. And, um, one night I was playing, um, what game was I playing? Was it Water Tanks or Water? I don't, I don't remember. I was, I was platooned up with a friend, uh, a fellow Brit. And, um, he's a smoker. And so, while we was on a down, bit of a downturn in, in the game, what was it? I think it was World of Tanks. Yes, it was World of Tanks. Um, we were both playing, um, tank destroyers and there was a big lull in um sorry it's chewing gum there was a big lull in the combat you know what i mean there was like nothing going on for a good four minutes five minutes and world of tanks had some unheard of but he said be right back mate i'm gonna go smoke at fag and twitch immediately flagged my content because i said they heard the word F-A-G. Now, I can't say the full word, but it's a colloquial word for a cigarette. And it immediately flagged me. He comes back after smoking, and he's like, Dude, um, what's wrong with your stream? I was like, what do you mean? He goes, it's telling me you're not there. I was like, what are you talking about? Of course I'm streaming. And I was looking at my, my stream of OBS, and it was telling me, I'm live, you know, everything's going on, there's no issues. I was like, so I walked over to the page, refreshed it, and it said, this channel has been terminated for terms of service violations. I was like, what? I had about 14, 15 people watching me. And immediately my Discord blows up because some of my moderators are like, what the hell's going on, Dan? What the hell's going on, Dan? What the hell's going on, Dan? And I'm like, I don't know. Checked my emails because we have terminated your, your account with Twitch to, to terms of service violations of uh, 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 harassment of a protected class. Okay. Harassment of a protected class. So let me get this straight. Because you're in a alphabet -y spaghetti mafia, that makes you a protected class now, does it? Okay. You do realize I'm part of that spaghetti class. The B in LGB, it's me. I reported this to Twitch. Even a big YouTuber friend of mine, DDG, he's like, dude, what's going on? Because he, he checks on me once in a while and he checked in on me and he was like, dude, are you okay? What's going on with your channel? What's, what's going on? Talk to me. I was like, couldn't tell. I got and I sent, I sent, I sent my guys over what, in the letter. He contacted his Twitch handler and Twitch handler says there's nothing that they can do for me. The AI had flagged my channel. Yeah, AI had flagged my channel. Even when I asked for a manual review, it took them four days to get back to me and said, nope, suspension's being withheld. And it's a permanent suspension as well. Okay. 
So I started streaming on YouTube. I also stream over on Kick. And um, I just recently got a lot of the bugs worked out on Kick, so that's awesome. Um, but my, my, my point stands, which is I have worked my ass off. I've made Twitch a lot of money through their ads, through their ad revenue service, through them taking percentages of my subscribers. I have made Twitch money. Even when they used their super chat feature and they took a percentage. Again, making them money. Only for them to just drop you. And the fact that they did that to someone like Dr. Disrespect, even though it was just rumours at the time. Okay, yeah, granted, he was at a convention and he walked into a fucking bathroom and a cameraman followed him. Not Dr. Disrespect himself. Dr. Disrespect didn't have a fucking camera in his hand going, Oh, look at that penis, look at that penis, look at that penis. He didn't do that. A cameraman followed him in and they banned him for it. They banned him because a cameraman followed him into the bathroom. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Because I can't. So, he realised he wasn't at fault. Sued Twitch. Won. Got his contract payout. And then moved to YouTube. Technically... When you are a contracted streamer with Twitch, you are technically a staff member at Twitch. You're technically an employee of Twitch, of Amazon. And all of a sudden, which I don't... If you think about it, okay, Google owns YouTube. Amazon owns Twitch. Kick is owned by a bunch of online casinos. Yes. There is a lot of gambling on Kick. Yes. Do I advise anyone under the age of 18 uh, to be on Kick? No, I don't. Hell, on my Kick stream, it will tell you there is going to be the use of gratuitous words, violence, actions, yada, yada, yada. You get warned before you click watch. This is why... I am truthfully saying, if you want to, to stream and not worry about anyone getting offended or butt hurt or, or, or cry me a river dick face so I can drown you in your own tears, level of fucking re with your fucking funky hair colours, okay? Just go stream on kick. Granted, you're not going to get anywhere near the viewers you would as if you were streaming on, say, Rumble or YouTube or or Twitch but you get freedom and I mean that you get freedom in fact I've even done some private streams with my friend who who feels so fucking horrible for getting me banned off of Twitch he's invited me onto his and it's the thing he's still on Twitch my friend is still on Twitch and he contacted his Twitch handler, his Twitch partner, and he said, no, if you, if you, if you squad up, if we hear his voice, if we see his face, your channel will be terminated as well. And so my friend had to end his friendship with me when he's streaming on Twitch. He still messages me in World of Tanks. He still messages me and asks me, how am I doing? How's my day been? Am I okay? Is everything all right? But he know he, he said it himself. He goes, dude, I would I, I'll platoon up with you later. It's just I can't right now. I'm recording a YouTube video or yada. I can't tell you his name because he's a big YouTuber. He's a he's a big content creator. But we've been working together off and on in the past with some previous content on War Thunder. Okay. So that's all I need to say. If you're an if you're a moderator of mine, you know who I'm talking about. But I'm not going to say his name. Okay point is he feels so bad you know i'm like don't everything runs its course and i mean that everything runs its course both good and bad let it run its course okay guys 
there's there's the old there's the old phrase this too shall pass okay when bad things happen this too shall pass but also when good things happen this too shall pass how fast it passes or how short it passes is entirely up to you and how you enjoy it okay please understand that please understand i i am not even remotely angry mad or upset i'm not even if twitch offered to get my account back gate to give me my give me my account back i wouldn't take it i wouldn't take it i have a secondary twitch account i don't stream on it but i have it and the reason why i don't stream on it is because one i can't i'll be vile i'll be a uh, a uh, uh, trying to uh, avoid the twitch ban but most importantly i have it because i still like to support certain content creators yes they are still on twitch sadly and i am trying to help them leave twitch and migrate over to kick to youtube to other platforms alt tech is the way to go if you sit if you literally permanently stay in the bird's nest on the mothership so when the mothership goes down and this doctor disrespect stuff will bring twitch down you've got to understand this you have former and current twitch staff being investigated by the fbi do you understand that for allegations of child abuse and they are trying to throw the scent off by saying by dangling a set of car keys in front of you going yeah, but look what doc, look what Doctor Disrespect is doing over here. Look what doc, doc, doc. the CEO of Twitch follows nothing but eagles on both Twitch and Twitter. If you look at that man's Twitter account, it is nothing but eagles. Why is that? Oh, but Doctor Disrespect was, was was messaging a minor. Okay, have you ever do do you have nieces nephews do you have children under the age of 18 and have you sent them a text message have you te have you sent them a whatsapp have you sent them a f have you have you even verbally spoken to them guess what you are talking to a minor let that fucking sink in the only thing this man is guilty of is talking talking to said minor and if said minor had issues and problems with it they would have gone public with it it would have been on every fucking news station and i'm not just talking youtubers i mean it would be on terrestrial t-rex media think about it think about it this is nothing but a character assassination attempt by twitch because they know that they're due to pay out on his contract if they haven't already had to pay it out. Guess what? They're going to pay out again. And I mean big time. Yes, granted, Dr. Disrespect has done some bad things in the past. We all have. None of us are fucking innocent. I am not innocent. I have done some horrible shit in my life. I've killed people. Let me ref let, let me literally say that to you straight fucking faced. I have murked people, and I have not, I've not lost a wink of sleep. I have literally fucking watched with my own eyes, seeing what happens to a soft target when it gets hit with a hundred and twenty millimeters of a smooth bore, high ex high vap round. Do you want to understand? <clears throat> do you understand what that will do to a fucking human being? A soft target as they're called i've seen it used on livestock i watched a cow going from alive to instant hamburger try me you don't fucking scare me you can use all the big scary words you want you can call me nazi you can call me fascist you can call me whatever you want your words don't fucking hurt me because unlike you I'm not weak. Unlike you, words don't fucking hurt me, you moron. Bullets do. Bombs do. Punches, kicks, bites, slaps, knives. They hurt. 
Words can never hurt you, you fucking moron. They can provoke you, but they can't hurt you. So please understand that. And get off your fucking high horses. Oh, but they've got Twitch staff that had... The, okay, then why hasn't Dr. Disrespect been arrested by the FBI? Or local sheriffs? Why is it not a mugshot of him? When Donald Trump got arrested, that mugshot went worldwide. You really don't think in a gaming setting, Dr. Disrespect's mugshot wouldn't go worldwide? Hmm? Oh, and the person who said, Oh, I have all the DMs, yada, yada, yada. But I'll only release them if my band sells out their tours. That is called a fucking grift, you muppets. And that's exactly what that was. It was a grift. Because he's a grifter. That's all he is. is a fucking grifter. When you learn what it is, it has no power. And I can guarantee you right now, the first thing that Dr. Disrespect is doing is contacting lawyers and people at Twitch. You could pull a fucking diamond out of their ass after you put a lump of coal in there first. They are shitting bricks because they've just realized that they have poked a fucking bear. And if they can do this to someone like Dr. Disrespect, do you really think they wouldn't turn on you in a fucking heartbeat if it means it saves them even one second of, of, of anything? This is why the right loves it when the left turns on itself. We just sit there with a bag of popcorn and a fucking soda and we will literally just sit there, just munch, 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 munch. Here's those receipts on what he said. Oh, here's the receipts on what she said. This is why the right does that. Because we don't care. And yeah, I am a right. I am on the right. I'd rather be on the right than even remotely related, relatable to the left. I'm sorry, bitch. True. May six. Uh, May fourth. Sorry. Here in the UK, we're going to be voting. I'm voting reform. I used to vote Tory. I'm not voting Tory ever again. No, I've never voted Labour and I'll never vote Labour. And I advise no one ever vote Labour. Labour are literally just the puppet of the Muslim Brotherhood. Every single one of their fucking voters nowadays that woke up and saw what Labour was doing to their own local communities, namely the mining communities, the steel communities, the coal communities, and watched Labour turn them all into fucking wastelands. And when they left and moved to the bigger cities like Manchester, Newcastle, London, Reading, uh, just the bigger, t the bigger cities... And watched all the, the Muslims go right out of those dead communities and turn them all into fucking third world shitholes. And they still are third world shitholes. I'm looking at you, Luton. And they all vote fucking Labour, 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 Labour. Garen fucking T. This was literally even in several fucking terrorists' manifestos. They said, our soldiers are already in your country. They're not wearing a uniform and they don't carry a rifle. Therefore, you cannot stop us. They're using our own legal system against us. And you fucking dirty wig wearing little fucks that defend them in courts. You should be fucking strung up with them. In my honest opinion, the fucking Templar Knights didn't go far enough. You cunts are still breathing. That's how I feel about that situation. Your religion is a facade. I'm sorry, but it is. Islam is a facade. It is a fake religion. Has been since jump. This is why so many... So, so Name another religion that will kill you if you leave. Oh, wait. How can you claim to be a religion of peace if you threaten your followers with death if they leave? 
That's not peaceful, is it? Is it? Even my phone agrees. Anyway, guys, my coffee's done. It's been done for a while, so this video's going to be done. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Sorry about the rant, but the point is, until Dr. Disrespect is banged up in jail, you know, and I mean full-on mugshot, charge, rap sheet, everything else, and has his day in court, it's all speculation. It's all bullshit. It's all rumours. We're not eight year old we're not eight year old little girls at a slumber party. Stop chatting shit. Right? Just stop chatting shit. Because it's all bollocks. It's all it's all distraction. It's all 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 Emperor has no clothes. Let's dangle keys at at at, at, a, at an infant child to distract them. It's all it is. You are the baby, they're dangling the keys. Till then guys.